What's up guys, Jimmy from Mountain Bike Travel Eat here and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite new products, the Rev Grips, also known as Revolution Suspension Grips. Now these are an amazing new product I came across a couple months ago. I'd have severe arthritis in my hands, so basically when I'm racing enduro or doing anything with long downhill stretches, my hands will get really tight and stiff and I tend to get really bad arm pump as well. So these grips are actually made to be suspended above the bar. So the grip is isolated from the bar itself, which allows the grip to move in any direction and releases some of that, that shock and that smash from the handlebars as you ride down the trail. Really, really good product. I already have a set installed here on my Santa Cruz Nomad. I'm actually gonna switch these over to a little bit of a larger size to see how I feel with that. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on the product, show you how to install them real quick, and then you guys can make your decision from there. All right, first things first. I'm actually just gonna take off the system that I currently have on my bike. So the Rev Grip system basically consists of these two end caps. We'll pull the whole system off here. It just slides right off there. So there you have the, the whole system. But if we take off one of these ends, you're going to see that there are these little tabs on the end of the grip here. I have one of the spacers in there which allows me to run it a little softer. And the end cap has these little washers in there. So these are little rubber inserts so these little plastic inserts here actually insert into these washers which are what hold the grip above the bar. Now if I take this grip and I slide it back on, you'll basically see that there's a lot of space there. So it doesn't fit exactly on the bar and again those plastic end pieces will slide into these little rubber inserts. That keeps it cushioned above so while you're riding it will actually move in every direction. So now that we've taken this old system off, we're gonna throw on the new system, we'll open up that new box, I'll show you guys how to install it, and then we'll go from there. When you get the box, it comes in this nice little package. We'll just open this right up. First things first, you have this little bag. We'll just dump that right out. Nice sticker, instructions on how to install, and then you have the grips perfectly laid inside. So these are the Pro Large size grips. I had the mediums on before, but I have bigger hands, so I'm going to switch over to the large. And then you, of course, have your bar caps. So I'm just going to run you through what was inside this little baggie here. So you're going to have a, I believe this is a 2.5 millimeter and another little Allen key there. This snake-like object, which is actually going to be the rubber inserts. Four bolts. They actually give you an extra, so there's two for each end of the grip. And then you have these washers. There's two different sizes. Thinner 0.1 millimeter this is actually a thicker one at 0.2 millimeter. If you put these smaller inserts or not or smaller washers or no washers, uh, they're going to be a little firmer. I run the thicker 0.2 millimeter one on each end, which is technically the softest setting. Or you can actually mix and mat mix and match and do you know a 0.2 millimeter on one end and a 0.1 millimeter washer on the other end to make medium soft. So now that we have everything that we need to install these, we're going to throw them on the bike the way that I found easiest, and then I'll show you how they move, and then I'll let you guys decide from there if they're a system for you. So the first thing that the instructions tell you to do, we're actually going to take each one of these little bolts. We are going to lightly thread them into the end clamps here. So you don't want to tighten these yet, but you just want to get them started in there. Alright, so those four are good to go. Next up, we're going to take our rubber insert salamander here. I have an X-Acto knife. This is the easiest way i found to do it, just for a nice accurate cut. We're going to need uh, 16 of these cut off all together. So I have zoomed in a bit here. Hopefully you guys can see this a little better. So the best method that I have found to do this, we're actually going to take one of these little rubber inserts I'm going to fold it in half, pressing in on itself. I will lay it down on a flat surface. Then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and just trim that edge as close to the insert as you can. So the goal here is to trim so that there's no little tab on the end here. You just want to get as close to that insert as possible. 
Obviously you don't want to risk cutting it in half, but if you do that for all 16 of them, it's not so bad once you get the hang of it. Again, we will just take this, we're going to pinch it in half, lay it flat, take your razor and just cut right along the edge. That's going to give us the perfect cut there. So we're going to go ahead and do that 14 more times. All right, so we've got that done and you will see that they do give you four extra here. So you can hold on to those. They will wear out of time and this is one of the pieces along with the grip itself that you will need to replace. Now let's go ahead and get these on the bike. Now, in order to prep these to go on the bike, we're actually gonna take this little pile of inserts here. So on each one of these, you're gonna see a little insert space. You want the open end to face in. So you'll see there's those little flaps there facing in. And you're just gonna put one of these little inserts in each of these on the end caps. So we'll get those all in first. We have all of our rubber inserts in there ready to go. Now we're gonna actually push the grips together, get them ready, and then we'll just slide the whole system on at once. So first things first, we do have our washers here. Again, I use a 0.2 millimeter at each end. So I have four 0.2 millimeters. We'll start with one end. First things first, I wanna take my washer. You'll see that there are four tabs on here. So we're just gonna slide that around. It sits right around those. Boom, just like that. Now we will take our end here. And you'll see that again, there are these four tabs and then there are these slots. So we're gonna start with one slot to begin with, push that in, and then we're just gonna kinda of twist and wiggle until it slides right on. So now you'll see that there's no space there. You can tell that it's well set. It should just hold on there itself. Now before I put on the other one, I'm going to put on the, again, 0.2 millimeter washer on the other end. But now for me, I'm a little meticulous about where my uh, clamp bolts go. So for this one, I want my bolts facing back towards me. So if you see this one here will face back towards me, which means on the other end, I want this one facing up and in the same spot. So now I have both bolts facing back towards me so the front of my bike will be nice and clean. Same thing with this one. Push that in there. And you see the others are still open, but if we just do a little wiggle and turn, it's actually gonna slip right on there. And there we go, that one's on. So now we have both on. Again, this is what you're going to see from the front of my bike. From the back of my bike, I'll be able to access both of those bolts. Now, we'll do the same thing for the other side, and we'll be ready to slide this right on the bike. All right, so now we have both of our grips ready to go. Both the end caps are on. Again, these aren't tightened, so be careful because if it falls off, it can be kind of a pain. All right, so here we have my 2016 Santa Cruz Nomad ready to go grip sets here. So what I'm gonna do, slide this on very carefully. <clears throat> you wanna keep your fingers on both ends to make sure that the uh, end cap doesn't pop away from the washers there or else you'll have to do that all over again. Again, nice and gentle, we'll leave that there. Now we are going to grab our rev grip handlebar cap, 2.5 millimeter hex. We're gonna put this bad boy on with the rev grip name nice and level so everyone can see it. Push these against the bar and we're actually gonna tighten these down a bunch. We wanna make sure that these don't move at all because this is going to help us to torque on the end caps the next step. So we'll get that nice and snug, can't move at all, good to go. Now we get our smaller Allen key. And what I'm going to do, the biggest thing here is you don't want any space between the grip itself, the washer, and the end cap. So I'm going to make sure that my bolts are lined up where I want them to be. I'm going to hold this with my thumb, I'm going to hold the other end with two fingers, pull that as tight as I can, so it doesn't move, and then I'm going to tighten that bolt, making sure that there's no space there. I'm gonna tighten that to just a little over hand tight. You don't wanna to go too crazy, but you definitely don't want it to move. So now this end is set. Again, we're gonna do the same thing. Thumb here, we're gonna pull tight on this end, and then we're gonna do the same thing with that other bolt. All right. Now we have the grip fully installed. There's no space here. This gap here with the washer and the grip is nice and tight. Make sure there's no space on either end. And you can actually see a little bit just from me holding it that it will actually move. 
Now it's hard to tell without you actually feeling it, but you can tell that the grip is suspended. My hand will move in either direction, so when I'm hitting those bumps and flying down, instead of the bar shock going right into your hands, this is able to move a little bit, so those big bumps, turns, drops, it's just going to give you a little bit wiggle. It's a lot like a, a moto grip, if you will. It took me about five minutes to get used to it. Once I was used to it, honestly, I can never go back. So now I'm just going to install the second grip. Alright guys, so now we have the rev grips fully installed. Again, this is my second system, so I've already tested these. I already know that I love them. You know, the basic overview, they are suspended above the bar itself. Uh, the grips actually sit into those rubber inserts, which gives you that cushioning. Then the washers allow you to adjust how soft you want them to be. I run them as soft as possible. It was awkward for the first five minutes maybe, um, but then once you get used to it, I mean, I feel like I have way more control. My arm pump is basically gone, um, so I highly recommend them. You know, they do run around $90 for the Pro Series set. I think if, if you're going to get them, you should get the Pro Series. It gives you the optimal adjustments there, uh, whereas the other lower end series don't have them. But uh, I, I think they're definitely worth it. I ran my first set for about three months, four months now. Um, and they just started to wear on the grips themselves. You know, once you have the set and the end caps, all you should really need to replace are those rubber inserts uh, and then the grips themselves if they wear down too much. But again, mine lasted, I think, four to six months uh, and they were still running just fine. So, you know, the colors are also great. Obviously, this matches the orange on my Nomad, so my pumpkin bike is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. You know, smash that like button. And uh, if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe for more. Thanks, guys.